happy sunday what's up guys welcome to the vlog so right now i'm just doing my weekly laundry for sweet baby um and every week i just fold up him like clothing pack so it comes with actually let me show you so this is a completed pack it comes with a shirt underwear socks and uh shorts and that way it just makes my life a lot easier throughout the week so yeah i just have all his little packs together okay so here is his clothing packs and like i said i do this every sunday so this is all the clothes that he wore already well last week that needed to be washed and fold so it's about one two three four five six seven eight eight outfits so yeah that's about right every sunday i do eight complete sets of clothes but except for this one doesn't have socks i don't think i don't know yeah i don't know why he'd be losing his socks <laughs> that's so weird to me but i try to keep everything really really organized and really simple for me because i do have a lot going on and i really don't get a lot of rest only because baby brother still in nine months doesn't sleep through the night he still wakes up at least two to three times a night maybe four to five but yeah i try to stay very very organized because if i don't it will be just crazy but yeah I just thought I would include y'all on that since I'm folding clothes and um watching YouTube right now. I'm watching Nika. I just found her. So I'm like kind of binge watching all her content to kind of, what is it? Nika something. I wish I remembered the name. Oh, Nika Busy Life. Yeah, that's what I'm watching right now. Hey y'all, so we just finished dinner i'm here feeding baby brother a banana for his dessert we had chicken rice and um like avocado on top of our rice but it was like one of those little guacamole cups not like a fresh avocado it was like a little i could actually show y'all so yeah just a feeding baby brother this banana for his dessert he actually had it for his um, afternoon lunch. No, it wasn't lunchtime. It was like after his like afternoon nap. And um, he didn't finish it. So I was like, well, that's fine. You could just eat it for your dessert. And he's loving it. So he has officially stopped wanting baby food. I don't know what it is. Like he shakes his head. No, like, no, I don't want that. So every night now I'm trying to like feed him what me and sweet baby eat. So yeah, that's what he had in his plate. He ate a lot of his food. Um, I did fried chicken, but I like just gave him a little piece. Like he don't eat that much uh, food. So it was easy just to like break off a piece of the white meat in the chicken and let him eat it. And yeah, so that's what we're doing tonight. Okay, y'all, so this is his leftover. That was his chicken and his white rice and avocado. And that right there is like the banana part that I took off because like I said, um, I put the banana in a plastic bag. So that saves most of it, but you know, like the part that was last eaten off of kind of turns brown. So yeah, I didn't want him eating that, but yeah. This was the guacamole that I was talking about. It's holy guacamole, but it's literally just avocado. It doesn't have like peppers or anything in it. So I just put it on top of the rice and then this is lemon pepper chicken drumsticks. This is what I had left over. So yeah. That was our quick Sunday dinner today. You in? Yeah, I am. Hey, y'all. Happy Thursday. So it's Thursday. 
And as you see, sweet baby did not go to summer camp. It's the second to last day and he just was not feeling like going. So, yeah, he didn't go to summer camp today. So we're about to head to the Korean grocery store because he's been asking for some Korean hot dogs. So we're gonna go see what they have, probably get us a few other things. But yeah, since he stayed home today, we decided to just go ahead and get these hot dogs that he's been talking about. Like I made them before from scratch one time, but this time I'm just gonna buy like the made ones. So come along with us on our day. All right, y'all. So we're at the Super H Mart. So we're about to go in and see what goodies we can get today. How you feel? Good. All right. What are you excited to get? Um, Lord, I'm stuck on the speed bump, y'all. Okay, yeah. I'm excited to get just some Korean hot dogs. Okay. I really want the hot cheeto one. Okay, let's see which kind I got. You want to get a buggy so you can push it? Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. Okay, go. Let's go get a buggy. So they got the kiwi pie mayonnaise. I kind of want to get some. Because people say it's really, really good. I don't know, though. I think I am going to get it. Just to try it. Okay, y'all. This is so weird. All the freezers in the middle are empty. Usually these things are filled. So I don't know what happened. Empty, empty, empty. So without a doubt, I have to get these little thin oxtails they're the best so i'm getting two of these so i never actually had chicken feet but i do want to try them comment down below if you ever ate chicken feet and what was your experience so i think i'm gonna get this pack of whole wings so yeah okay guys so here is the noodle aisle and they have so many noodles from like just rows and rows of instant noodles. But I'm gonna try this flavor, which I've never tried before. It's the hot and spicy shrimp. So yeah, I'm excited to try this, but who knows? Like 430 calories, wow, that's a lot. How much is in the regular? Oh, 370. So yeah. I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna get these and try them. Hopefully it's a yummy. But I do like pack noodles better than cup noodles. I don't know. I just like them in the pack and put them on the stove. That's when they taste the best to me. But I'm definitely gonna try spicy shrimp because I've never tried it. Oh, Okay, and I found it in a cup too. So, this is the bowl. That's what I meant to say, the bowl. But I found the cup, so I'm gonna get both of these. Look at this, cucumber lays. Wow, that's interesting. So this is real shrimp, and I think this is the wasabi flavor. Trust me, I don't know, but I'm thinking that's what this is. I think this is the garlic black pepper. And this is a sour cream and onion. I literally want to try these so bad, but I don't know if I want to like them or not. Wow. They're $5. Yeah. What? Let's see what, she, what are those. I don't know what those are. And this is the ramen noodle chips, like cut noodle chips. I don't know, I might get this. This is black pepper crab flavor. At least it has the English writing on it. So I know for sure what it is. But I'm really tempted to try the shrimp ones. Oh my goodness, what should I do, guys? So these are $2.99, so I'm gonna compromise and try these. And this is the 
spicy seafood. Another time I might try those. I'm just kind of afraid. I don't know why. Now we're at the drink aisle. See, baby want to try one of these. I've had those before. But I think I'm going to get this peach. I don't know. Is that the peach one? They got the watermelon and the pineapple. Which one? I don't know. I think that might be mango. But I had the peach one before and it was really good. So I might go with pineapple this time. Yeah, I looked on the back and this is the mango. I want to get the watermelon, but I don't want it to taste like cucumber. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try the watermelon. <laughs> we made it! We made it! You so happy? Have to tie his little hair up. We made it! I'm so proud of you. Let's see. You did it, baby! You eating ice? <laughs> this lasted the whole summer camp so and it's still a lot left well maybe like three-fourths of the bottle left so great investment i don't remember how much it cost but i'm glad it made it through the whole summer camp but now i'm just reading this does this mean it only lasts 40 minutes like what the what hey y'all i hope you guys are having a great week so I'm ending my week off. I'm about to start cooking those oxtails that y'all saw me buy earlier this week. So I got them all washed up and in this pan. Let me show y'all. So this is the oxtails in the pan and I'm just about to get them ready. And because they're so thin, like I don't need to sear them or anything like that because they really cook off and they cook very tender. Right now I'm about to use some garlic parsley, but I'm just preparing them for the um oven tomorrow morning just because it is really really let me not say it's really hard but baby brother is you know at his like clingy stage so a lot of times if i put him down or do anything outside of just have my eyes on him walk away do anything like that he cries a lot so yeah, I'm doing this because he's asleep. It's about like 9 o'clock. No, it's actually 10 right now. Because I put him to bed at 9 and he went to sleep around like 9.30. So, I'm just doing this. So, in the morning time, the only thing I have to do is um, put these in the oven. And they don't take long at all. But this time, y'all, I was thinking about putting some tomato on it since i don't have my french onion usually i use french onion and i'm gonna put some Worcestershire Worcestershire sauce on it but yeah i don't have any um lipton french onion soup so i was thinking about doing it with tomatoes and so yeah I have an actual real tomato that I was also thinking about using. What is this? This Rotel. I don't know. I just feel like I remember when I was a little girl eating oxtails with tomatoes in it. Or maybe there was neck bones. I don't know. But anyways... I'll come back once it's all finished and I'll put the oil, the, the foil on top of it and put it in the refrigerator for tomorrow morning. Okay, y'all, so here's the final product. The tomato I had was like going bad, so I didn't use that. I put a little jalapeno juice, this Rotel, which I've never used before, not even to make dip or anything. I just got it and decided to use it. And then salt, because I learned my lesson about not using salt. And yeah, I'll let y'all know if this is good or not. <laughs> I'm done. 